Hey, Gary, you on the line? Gary. Gary, yes. are you on the line? Hi, Wally. How's it going? Good, good. Hey, I'd like to do some uh, golf cart battery maintenance tips. What do you think? Uh, sure, that's a good idea. But uh, what we've got to do first is um, talk about uh, the tools you need. Okay. Uh, there's a few tools that are important to that job, and uh, we can make sure everybody's familiar with what to use. Okay. Uh, that, that sounds good. Let's, uh, why don't we get right into it, Gary? Sure. All right. Well, first on my list, Gary, is uh, safety glasses. Very, very important. Very important. I can't stress enough. And uh, on some upcoming videos, what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll show you why you need the glasses. But uh, I just want to mention here, safety glasses, very important. Good idea. And uh, another item to protect your hands, uh, we should have some rubber gloves. Simple enough just to use uh, rubber uh, kitchen rubber gloves. And uh, if you uh, take them out of the kitchen, don't put them back. The acid on them uh, isn't a good idea. Right. Now we'll move on to uh, tools you might need. And uh, I picked this one out of my toolbox, Gary. What do you think? Ooh. Nice big wrench, but uh, I might have to do something a little bit smaller than that. Oh, all right. See, I thought I'd get to use this for once. No way. <laughs> all right. How about these? Are these better? Ah, that's better. Sure. That's, that's a lot better. You can uh, use a combination wrench, um, pliers like that, pump pliers, or uh, even an adjustable wrench will do the trick. But uh, that's uh, the best way to start. All right. And um, what about insulated? If we insulate, get insulated tools? Oh, yeah, even better. All right. We'll explain that in upcoming videos, why that's a Okay, let's look at uh, what you need to do the cleaning. Uh, first of all, uh, you're going to use, well, actually, a uh, wire brush on posts that are, have uh, threads on them. And uh, then there's another tool, as you see to the left, uh, that's good for uh, batteries that have posts that uh, you can just uh, wire brush them that way. So both of those tools are handy for uh, cleaning uh, contacts. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's go take a look at a uh, battery water fill bottle. It's a handy little tool and, you know, you'll be able to fill the water right to the correct level. Um, and uh, you want to use distilled water or bottled water. You want to stay away from tap water unless it's absolutely necessary. So distilled water, bottled water is your best bet. Yeah, it's pure water. It's been filtered. Uh, you don't have the minerals and that in it. So um, now that you have bottled water readily available, it's a good alternative. Let's look at the uh, some of the monitoring equipment. Uh, and we'll get into this further detail to show you what readings you need to get. But um, here's a hygrometer. Uh, there's a couple of different styles. Um, it's used to uh, check the specific gravity of the electrolyte in the battery. Very important item. You can tell condition of battery with that. All right. Now we're going to move on to a digital voltmeter. And uh, I'll, let, uh, I'll let Gary explain this one a little bit. Okay. Well, digital voltmeter or uh, uh, well, digital multimeter is really what it's called. Uh, has a number of different functions, and uh, it's pretty handy in checking your voltage. And there's uh, specific voltages that you look for in your batteries, just to tell where you're at on uh, the charge. And uh, we have some charts uh, further on that uh, really speak to that. All right, perfect. And now we'll move on to baking soda. Nice common household item, and it'll come in handy, real handy, when you're cleaning your battery. A little baking soda, a little water, make a solution, and it'll help clean the uh, residue acid off the top of your battery, the exterior of the battery and, and your terminals. So keep that in mind, baking soda. Yeah, when you use that, um, you're going to neutralize the battery acid, and you'll actually um, hear it fizz a lot of times as you're cleaning. Mm -hmm. 
and it's doing its job by neutralizing the acid that's sitting on top of the battery. All right. And to put that on, you just need a simple paintbrush. Just get a cheap one. Um, you're going to get it dirty and whatnot, but uh, uh, it, it's uh, easy to use, like a two-inch paintbrush or something like that, just to get around the terminals and whatnot. Yep. All right. And then uh, give it a probably what a good dousing of water to rinse everything off, or yeah, that's the way to finish off. Uh, just give it a little bit of water on top, making sure before you start cleaning process that your uh, battery terminal or your battery uh, uh, caps are tight. All right. Uh, Next item on the list is a dielectric oil or grease. Uh, Gary and I prefer an oil and. Uh, Gary, why don't you tell them a little bit about this? Yeah, this is an um, interesting oil. Uh, it's a dielectric, which is a 59,000 volt dielectric. It um, <clears throat> seeps into cables, uh, your exposed cables into your connectors, and it'll uh, prevent the corrosion. It allows the uh, charge to go through the connectors and everything. Uh, that's what a dielectric uh, is all about. And uh, it's also a very good lubricant as well. So it can be used on other things uh, besides just the battery. Mm -hmm. and, and this oil, if, if you prefer the oil as, as we do, you'll be able to use that in, in many different areas. Um, if you've got a boat, um, all the electrical connections on a boat, uh, any electrical connection, you know, like your trailer plugs get corroded from, from, the, uh, from the moisture in the air. Very good product. And we'll talk more about that in upcoming videos again. That's right. And the last item on the list would be a, uh, a proactive battery maintenance product that helps extend the life of your battery. Uh, I'll, I'll get into greater detail on this product in, in uh, upcoming videos. But for right now, just real quick, um, it helps keep the sulfuric acid in solution which uh, when, when it's fully explained, you'll understand uh, that's why batteries lose their life uh, through the uh, discharge and charging cycle. Um, most batteries typically last anywhere from two to four years. Uh, this product can and will double the life of your batteries. Very inexpensive product, very easy to use, keeps your batteries nice and fresh. So again, I'll talk more detail about this in upcoming videos. Yeah, and we'll explain. Uh, Exide did a study on batteries and found out uh, certain benefits by using this product. So we'll explain that as well. Perfect. Perfect. Well, that's uh, that's it for the tools and the uh, safety items and safety precautions. Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, post this entire list on on, the, on our website. Uh, if you want to just download the list and, uh, you know, check off the items you, you have and what you don't have or what you need to get. Uh, glad you listened to us, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.